What's up guys, it's Kelly and today I am doing a really fun nail art Sunday for you. So I know I've been totally obsessed with this watercolor technique. I just did a video on it for my ocean underwater manicure, but I wanted to show you guys an even cheaper option for how to do the cool watercolor. And yes, I did totally mess up the arrows on my middle nail. You guys are gonna see that fail live. But anyway, I promise, despite my fail, this manicure is super easy to do. So let's just get started. So for this manicure, I am using my usual base coat, some white nail polish as my base, and then I'm gonna go in with three colors for my watercolor. I chose bright purple, light blue, and hot pink. I am listing all the colors that I used in the description, but you can use whatever colors you want. I'm also using my regular glossy top coat and a Ziploc bag, but not just any Ziploc bag, a great value brand Ziploc bag because who can pay for the Ziploc brand? That's just too expensive. I'm also gonna be using these cool little water decals from Shop Kiki. I will link them in the description below, but I'm gonna use the little arrows that you see right here because they're super cute and I think they would match really well. So I'm just starting off with my clean natural nail and applying my base coat. And once that's dry, I'm going in with my white base color. Now white is the best for these bright colored manicures because it is going to make all those exciting colors pop, but you can always do a different color combination like I did in that ocean manicure I showed you guys. So normally I would use liquid latex, but I'm currently out of it. So we're just gonna use another little nifty trick that I used to use way before latex was a thing. And that is wrapping my finger in regular old scotch tape. I'm gonna cut up that plastic bag just so I have a smaller piece to work with and then I'm just gonna crumble that up. You can use the whole bag if you want to, but I like switching it up so every few nails I just pick a different little piece of the bag and I re-dip. But anyway, I'm gonna take this little vinyl mat that I got from Maniology, formerly known as Bundle Monster. But you can just use a piece of scrap paper if you want and I am just going to start to splotch my colors out and I'm also gonna put a little bit of white in there just to make sure that the colors are vivid and they pop really nicely. So once I'm satisfied with my splotches of color, I'm just going to dip my plastic bag into it and then I'm just gonna go in on my nail and just start dabbing that on until I'm happy with how it looks. And each nail is gonna be a little bit different and random, and that's what I love about these types of manicures. I am going to take off that bit of tape that's around my nails, and then there's still a little bit excess that I need to clean off. Not a big deal, I'm just using acetone and a little cleanup brush. I have a whole video on how I clean up, so if you guys are interested in that, I will link that in the cards as well. Now let's just take a moment to appreciate what the nails look like without any design on them, because I totally love watercolor, but I wanna make it one step cooler. So we're gonna take these awesome little decals from Shop Kiki, and I'm going Going to cut them out into little individual bits. I want to make sure each one fits my nail. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of water and I'm going to dip my little decal in there, let it soak for a couple of minutes, and then pull it out. So what happens is the water decal actually separates from the backing and I used my fingers for the first one and I don't recommend doing that and you're about to see why because when you use your fingers it starts to make the water decal melt a tiny bit and then by the time you put it on your nail it's like half melted so not a good look totally messed up this nail but we're just gonna Bob Ross it call it a happy accident yeah so now I learned my lesson I'm going to use a tweezer for my next nail and I'm just gonna lightly press that in to make sure that there are no air bubbles or anything and if I want I can slightly adjust that and move it around while it's still wet. Once I'm happy though I'm just going to let that dry for a couple of seconds and then go in with my glossy top coat. So that's it for this manicure. Like I said, super easy to use these decals, super easy to do that watercolor background despite my little mess up on my middle nail. I think this looks super cool. And also, you guys may notice that I have a super black background right now, which I'm really excited about. I just bought a new little background board, so I hope you guys think it's cool. Let me know what you think of it. I'll probably put a poll up because you guys know that I'm obsessed with those polls. But anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Let me know in the comments what kind of nail art you want to see next Sunday, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!